Quick disclaimer, I messed up badly. Like, like really badly. Okay, guys, this is my first of the Reddit series, Entitled Parents. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, and just get mad at some Entitled Parents. So, this one's called, I'm an adult, so I have the right to, to your wallet. When I was 11, approximately 14 years ago, I lived in a peaceful town. Like on a regular basis, I woke up and normally take the bus to my school. On this day, it was freezing out, so I stopped at Starbucks around my school and headed in for a hot chocolate. As I went, I lined up behind the entitled mom and her daughter, who was about three or four at the time. She was always on her phone and didn't even bother shushing her daughter, who was crying. It was like she was deaf. She was up at the register now, and she pulled out her expensive-looking wallet. She pulled out her credit card, and when she put it in, it was declined. She was furious, furious at this and called her husband. I couldn't hear the husband as I was trying to stay out of it, but this is what she said. Entitled mom. Why is there no money on my credit card? Just give me some money, put it in or something. I don't care if you don't have money, just put some in already. Then the phone hangs up and she screamed. It was so high-pitched, she got the whole Starbucks, soul of Starbucks looking at her. She was looking around, and at this time I was checking through my wallet. Entitled mom, hey kid, can you lend me some money? Me, sorry I can't. Sorry I can't. I had around 60 euros since it was my birthday, around two weeks earlier, and I was saving. She then grabs my wallet. Then, uh, she then grabs my wallet out of my hand and accidentally pinches my hand while doing it. She grabbed a twenty. And I couldn't get it back as she held it tight, high above her head. Everybody saw this, and most of them were helping me out. She was then kicked from Starbucks, and I got my money back. I also got a discount on my hot chocolate. I soon found out she was banned from Starbucks. I never saw her again. Entitled parent tries to buy my Switch for fifty dollars, then ruins it with a marker. A lot of people from my pre previous story requested more, so I guess here we go. The cast. Me. Me. Entitled parent. EP. Same woman as in the other story. My aunt. Entitled parent's kid. Timmy's Timmy dad. Wait, <laughs> that's confusing. Uh, or TD, Timmy's dad, yeah. So they're going to call him TD. Um, okay, so let's get started. It was early April 2017. It was my birthday. I was turning 14, and I was hosting a small party for some fa family members. Since almost all of our family lives close by, I invited quite a few of them, including entire, entitled parents, whole family. The party was supposed to start at 1 p.m., and it was around 12.30. We heard a knock at the door, and it, entitled parent, Timmy, and entitled... Or, wait, what was that? Timmy's dad? Sorry. I thought nothing of it. Since hey, who cares if they're early? I let them in. A sh I let them in and shook their hands and let them let them to sit on our couch and wait for the rest of the people while Dad and Mom were making the cake and the rest of the preparations. As there were still around twenty minutes until the party started, I guess I decided to go and grab my switch to pass the time. I sat back down on the couch and started playing Breath of the Wild, and Timmy came uh, and sat next to me to watch. We were having fun talk, taking turns on playing. This is when Entitled Parents started talking. Entitled Parents. Wow, is it one of those new Nintendo things? Me. Yeah, sure it, is. it sure is. Entitled Parent. Did mom and dad buy you it? Me. Yeah. Do you really think a 14-year-old could afford one? Entitled Parent. Well, I guess not. How about I pay you 500 kroner, up, oh, approximately $50 for it, for it. No, it's worth a lot more than that. Don't lie, I've seen some online for $10. I'm just trying to be helpful. She keeps trying to hand me $50. Me. Stop, I'm not going to sell you my Switch. Entitled parent. Fine. The clock was not around 1, and a lot more guests had started arriving, so I put down the Switch and went to greet all the guests. After everyone had arrived, we called everyone to the table to eat cake and all their sweet stuff. Everyone sat down, and like five minutes later, Entitled parent started again. So, me... Entitled parent. So me, have you thought about my offer? Me. Yes, I have. Entitled parent. So are you? Oh, so are you gonna take it? Me. Of course not. You dumb twat. Entitled parent. Screw off. Apparently, no one else had heard this, which might be because earlier, no, either one, either everyone was too loud, or because she sat right next to me and almost whispered. She didn't talk much for the rest of the dinner. The rest of dinner. We got up. And went to the living room so I could open gifts and stuff. I got some pretty nice things like a Nintendo eShop card and other stuff. 
As I was done, done, I saw IntelliParent had picked up my Switch from the coffee table and started drawing on the screen with a marker. The Switch still has marks on it. I yelled out, Stop, please don't! And tears as she continued drawing. IntelliParent, If you're not going to sell to me, then I'm going to make it useless to you. Me, No, please stop. Mom and Dad heard all the noise and came into the living room and saw what IntelliParent was doing. They started... They started... <laughs> World War III screaming and insults and stuff back and forth. Eventually, Mom and Dad got them to leave. When I went to check out the damage, she had written F.U. on it. Thank God I remember that I had a screen protector. I got after seeing horror stories online of the dog scratching so scratching it, so I just peeled it off. I was so relieved. The Switch Joy-Cons still have some marks left that I couldn't wipe off, but no bad damage. That's about it. I have a lot more stories about the same intel parent. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk.